What if zombies already walk among us? Picture this. Not the decaying monstrous creatures that haunt your nightmares, but beings that look and act just like you and me. They could be your neighbor, your co-worker, or even your best friend. That's right, we're talking about zombies that have evolved. They've learned to blend seamlessly into society, to mimic our gestures, our speech, even our emotions, or perhaps lack thereof. Imagine living in a world where the threat is not from the outside, but from within. Where the monster doesn't lurk in the shadows, but in broad daylight, hidden behind a human facade. A world where the person you're having coffee with could be one of them. A world where your sense of safety is an illusion because the danger isn't coming, it's already here. The idea is terrifying, isn't it? The notion that anyone around you could be a zombie in disguise, it's enough to send chills down your spine. Because remember, the threat may be closer than you think. But if they are among us, how can we identify them? This question may keep you awake at night, and rightly so. In our quest to spot the undead, we must be vigilant and observant, focusing on the subtleties that set them apart. Consider eye movements. While humans have a natural rhythm when they look around, hidden zombies might exhibit irregularities. Their glances could be too quick, too slow, or strangely unfocused. It's almost as if they're processing the world around them differently. Next, observe their responses. If someone seems sluggish or their reactions are delayed, it might not just be a case of sleep deprivation or distraction. It could be a sign of the undead, struggling to mimic human behavior but falling just a bit short, but perhaps the most disturbing characteristic to look out for is a lack of empathy. Zombies, after all, are creatures driven by instinct, not emotion. If you notice someone who never seems to react appropriately to joy, sorrow or pain who seems detached or indifferent, they could be a hidden zombie, masking their true nature behind a veil of human-like behavior. So the next time you're in a crowd, or even just chatting with a friend, pay attention to these subtle signs. The clues are there if you know where to look. How does this hidden infection spread? It's a question that sends shivers down your spine, isn't it? Now let's delve into the disturbing possibilities. Imagine a world where zombies are able to transmit their condition through the most subtle interactions. No, we're not talking about biting or scratching. We're talking about the everyday encounters we all have, the ones we don't give a second thought to. Picture this. You're on a crowded subway brushing against strangers as you find your seat. You shake hands with a colleague at work. You share a bench at a bustling cafe. All of these mundane interactions harmless on the surface could potentially be your undoing. Zombies, hidden in plain sight, could be spreading their condition through these seemingly innocent exchanges. There's no blood, no gore, just a silent, invisible transfer that could turn the living into the walking dead. The implications are terrifying. The simple act of living in society, of being around other people, could put you at risk. It's a chilling thought, isn't it, that the person you just passed on the street the one you just bumped into could be a carrier of this horrifying condition. The stakes are higher than you could ever imagine. Every interaction, every shared space, every handshake could be a hidden death sentence. A handshake, a shared seat, an unknowing exchange, each could be a hidden death sentence. What if zombies held positions of power and influence? A chilling thought, isn't it? Imagine hidden among us the undead in roles we deem essential, roles that we trust implicitly. Medical professionals, government officials, those who supply our food, what if they were not as they appeared? Consider the eerie implications of a zombie doctor, a professional trained to heal, now potentially spreading the very affliction they were once sworn to combat. Could they resist the primal urge? Or would they use their position to further the silent invasion? And what about government officials, those we elect to lead and protect us, their minds potentially overridden by an insatiable hunger? Could they manipulate laws, twist societal norms, all to better serve the undead agenda? Finally, the suppliers of our sustenance. If zombies had control over the food chain, the very essence of our survival, imagine the terrifying possibilities. Could they contaminate our supplies, turning each meal into a potential death sentence? The very systems we rely on could be their greatest weapon. The invisible invasion could be happening right under our noses, and we would be none the wiser. As our trust becomes our vulnerability, the question remains, how do we safeguard against an enemy hidden in plain sight? How do we protect ourselves in a world where the enemy is indistinguishable? 
The key lies not in physical prowess, but in the mind's cunning. In a society where zombies masquerade as humans, our survival hinges on our ability to spot the subtle signs and react accordingly. Consider this. The art of conversation. Engage those around you in dialogue that requires empathy, emotional understanding, and quick, spontaneous responses. These are traits that our hidden foes might find challenging to emulate. A sluggish response, a lack of emotional insight, or an eye movement that's just a touch-off could be the red flags we need. But don't stop there. Observe the minutia. Does someone take an unusually long time to blink? Do they avoid direct sunlight or prefer the cold? These minor behavioral clues could be your lifesavers. Remember, in this chilling scenario, it's not about being the fastest or the strongest. It's about being the most observant, the most intuitive. It's about outsmarting the enemy hiding in plain sight. Survival isn't about strength, but observation, intuition, and cunning. Against the odds, a small group of survivors have discovered the truth. In this harrowing new reality, they are the unsung heroes, the silent warriors, the truth seekers. These survivors have come to realize that the zombies they feared are not just the stuff of horror films, but are woven into the very fabric of their everyday lives. Driven by a relentless pursuit of truth, they work undercover, their identities concealed for their own protection. Their mission? To expose the hidden zombies living among us. They document evidence, painstakingly piecing together patterns of the infected within society. Every subtle twitch, every absent gaze, every lack of empathy is meticulously recorded, analyzed, and cross-referenced. These survivors are not the muscle-bound heroes we're used to seeing in movies. They're ordinary people with extraordinary courage, committed to shining a light on this dark, hidden truth. They live in constant fear and danger, yet they press on, driven by a sense of duty, a call to humanity, a beacon of hope in a world spiraling into the abyss. In a world of shadows, they are the only light. The question remains, what would you do if zombies lived among us? A chilling thought, isn't it? The world as we know it teetering on the edge of a silent, unseen apocalypse. Every handshake, every shared moment, every crowded subway car, potentially a vector of this undetectable invasion. Imagine, if you will, a world where the undead are not monstrous, decaying figures of horror, but the person next to you. Hidden in plain sight, they could be your doctor, your teacher, the chef at your favorite restaurant. How could we possibly prepare for such a reality? We've walked you through hypothetical survival tactics, subtle social tests, and minor behavioral clues. But would this be enough? Could you trust your instincts, your observations to keep you safe? And what of the brave truth seekers, those survivors who've uncovered the horrifying reality and now work in the shadows? Would you join their ranks? fighting to expose the truth, could you identify a hidden zombie, or would you fall victim? Ponder this as we leave you in the chilling silence of this unspoken horror.